Hey guys, so today, uh, or I mean, I got a request that uh, people want me to check out iOS 8 uh, on uh, the um, iPhone 4S, so here I am and doing it. Sweet. So I just install it, so let's um, check it out here pretty quick and see how it performs. As you can see, definitely slow. Uh, but if you go into general about, you can see iOS 8, 12, A, 365. I mean, it's not super bad, just as with any new iPhone update or iOS update, it gets a little bit slower, but I wouldn't say it's horrible. And as you can see, we have the new recent context that you can see in here, uh, custom widgets or uh, widgets that should be available in here. Uh, I saw some cool ones and I definitely need to check that out if there's anything cool available. Uh, custom keyboards also that you, uh, they should also definitely I think should be available for the iPhone uh, 4S. I don't think I have installed anything, any keyboard right here. Uh, but I can definitely go into the App Store and uh, do that thing, maybe. As you can see, also the App Store is a little bit slow. But then again, remember that it's an iPhone from like 2011. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty old. What's my favorite keyboard? No, I don't remember what its name was, but that's just for random purpose. Maybe we can download Swipe, see the download speed and all that. Maybe we get some problems. Oh yeah, there we go. Here we can see all the keyboards. Yeah, I mean, something I noticed with both the iPhone 4 and the 4S is that they have a lot of Wi-Fi issues, or at least for me. I don't know if it's with the latest update, but as you can see, wow, that was slow. And as you can see, wow, it's trying to install this, annoying. So you can see when installing stuff, it can definitely be slow. And when you're doing things in the background, you can see here how slow Safari is. Just uh, opening up. Wow. No. So you should definitely upgrade to a newer iPhone. I mean, look at that speed. That's not speedy. That's very, very slow. And also, it's not as smooth on Apple's website. As you see, it takes a lot of time as well to load stuff up. And I have a pretty good Wi-Fi at home. So it shouldn't really be that slow. Definitely takes a lot of time here to load. And it's not as smooth as newer iPhones when you're going up and down. Sometimes as they re-render pictures and things like that. Okay, now it was a little bit better. But of course, iCloud, family sharing, iCloud Drive, you know, a bunch of new additions, the health app inside of iOS 8. As you see there, going outside of apps or going out could take some time. And a lot of problems here loading up stuff. Could definitely be very very slow. You probably don't want that. So I never tried the health app, but um, I bet it's cool uh, to be able to track all of this uh, data. If you are into things like that, as you can see again, very very slow. Even the normal swiping, uh, you did see there. Uh, let's see if I can go into, wow, even slow here. Go to general and I go down to keyboard and you can add new keyboards. A new keyboard thing we downloaded. Mm. 
And I should be able to tap on it if I can recall to allow it. Maybe keyboard doesn't work on the iPhone for us. Wow, now it's slow. It doesn't even installing something. Okay, here we go. Now it pops up, but definitely a little bit slow. But this, of course, the swipe keyboard, custom third-party keyboards that you can have inside of um, inside of iOS eight. So yeah, quickly look here. Definitely a pretty slow overall experience, uh, but now at least you do know and have a great little view of it. Of course, we have new wallpapers and uh, some things like that. There could also be some fun things there. Uh, you do have display and brightness in here. How they changed everything a little bit, where things are at. And you have battery usage, which also looks a little bit different. As you can see here, new still pictures. and also the battery usage app, which looks a little bit different. Uh, where you have managed storage at the bottom. So it's a little bit rearranged, but uh, just a quick little look here. Definitely could be kind of slow, uh, but I might compare it against um, iOS 7 as well, because I have a 4S with that, that can be some fun comparisons. So um, yeah, have an awesome day.